Six towns on Long Island are fighting the new recreational saltwater fishing license. The state's new law requires people 16 and older to have a license when fishing from shores, piers, docks, and boats. Now the proposed annual fee is $10, but if you get several million dollars from the amount of fishermen that's uh, applying for the license at $10, my fear is five years from now it will be $50. Terminal Tackle Bait Shop is seeing a decrease in sales because customers have to spend their money on the license to avoid a fine. Owner John Ritchie thinks money coming from the license is being misused. It's just being used to relieve the, uh, the, general, the state's general fund of the cost of some of the DEC salaries. That's where it's going. The Department of Environmental Conservation claims funds generated by the license will go toward improving data and marine research. Long Island towns argue that colonial patents give them the right to manage town waters. I don't know of anybody who likes this because everybody realizes what it is and sees it for what it's for and that's just a tax. Okay, they were, they were being asked to pay $10 just to be able to fish for the rest of this year through December 31st and then another $10 to fish next year. New York State Attorney General Andrew Cuomo thinks the license was poorly implemented and refuses to defend the state in this case. The license will not be enforced in the six towns until the lawsuit has been resolved. This is Alexandra Flahiv reporting for Stony Brook University. It's being used to pay like for costs way. that had previously been paid out of the general fund. So nobody's getting any benefit from that money. And, and uh, information that different agencies could use to regulate the species, I think the majority of the fish wouldn't be in favor.